I'm always doing the most Finish my cup and reload Let it swing right back Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be transforming this set here on my client. I think it was around six or seven weeks old and I'm just showing you here the lifting like a few of the nails were lifting like this quite badly and don't mind I didn't hurt my client when I did this. I checked with her to see if it was hurting or uncomfortable and she said no it was absolutely fine. But I just wanted to show you the extent of the lifting on a couple of the nails. So yeah we're going to go ahead and completely transform them. We're not going to be soaking off so I'm going to show you how I deal with a client that has lifting nails and how to like just I don't know, fix it up I guess. So I'm starting off using our outer space cuticle pusher, you can find that on the link in the description box at glitterplanetuk.com. They are currently out of stock but if you go and check now when you're watching this video they may well be back in so yeah you'll have to go and check that but I'll have the link down below for you guys if you do want to go ahead and check it out. So I'm just pushing back the cuticles on all 10 nails. I absolutely love this tool for doing that. This is a sort of like hoof or horse shoe shaped cuticle pusher and it's absolutely the perfect tool for pushing back cuticles. I just find the straight ones, I don't know, they seem to slip and sort of like jab into the cuticle and the finger and I don't know, I just feel a lot safer and more at ease using this one. The shape is absolutely perfect, I just love it and it's so cool, like look at the colours on there, I, yeah, I just love it. So moving on to the next step after I've finished doing that, I'm coming in with my e-file and my drill bit from Todak USA. I am going to go ahead and try the Mean Green bit. I think it's from Atwood. I have heard so many, like, so many great things about that drill bit. I just haven't had the chance to pick one up yet. But I definitely think I'm going to go ahead and try it, do a comparison and everything like that. But yeah, I'm just taking off the acrylic design right now. And then we will be back in a little while. So now that the acrylic has been filed really really thin and I've basically brought it back down to that clear layer that I always like to put on as a base, I'm coming in with some cuticle nippers and I'm going ahead and just nipping away at the lifted acrylic. This doesn't hurt my client, it isn't uncomfortable for my client, I'm not peeling the acrylic off the nail, it already has lifted from the nail so it's not like I'm ripping it off the nail plate or the nail bed and you can see some slight damage but that's just because from where the nails have lifted and it's been flexing and like as my client's been doing activities or whatever it's been moving the nail plate flexing it and it's just lifted more and that's what that white bit of damage is there it's not due to me nipping off the acrylic that has lifted but this is just the next step that I do take because then I find that it's easier then I can come in with my hand file and blend that acrylic in so yeah it's just an extra added step you totally could go ahead and soak these nails off or just go straight in with your hand file or continue filing with your e-file but this way just works best for me Now 
Now I'm coming in with our 100, 180 grit nail files. We have these available on our store, so go and check out the link down below. Everything will be linked down below that I am using today. And I'm just basically going ahead and blending in the old acrylic into the nail bed, making sure that I get rid of the extra colour that's still on there and also any little bits of lifting and making sure that everything blends nicely and is nice and flush. We do not want any gaps, we do not want to create any air pockets when we do our infill, so it is very, very important that you do get rid of every slight bit of lifting and just make sure that everything is nice and prepped very well. <coughs> Excuse me, jail. So yeah, I take away the extra colour as well that I wasn't able to get with my e-file and I'll also go ahead and etch the nail plate at this point as well. Also, if I do feel that I can't get rid of the lifting with a file, because I don't want to continuously file, file, file when the acrylic is so thin because it can cause heat and then it's uncomfortable for the client. So I will pop back in with my nippers and just nip away any extra little bits that I feel is necessary. Next I'm coming in with a fresh nail tip on the nail which my client had lost and it is one of our pre-pinched stiletto tips and I can just cut it down into a coffin shape so I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. And to trim and tail the nail tips I like to use these stalk scissors. You can also use a nail file and just file it slightly on either side until you're happy with the fit on your client's nails. So now that is prep work finished and I'm using the glitter laser lights which is available at glitterplanetuk.com, link down below as always. But first I'm coming in with my primer from NSI and I'm going to go ahead and place a layer on all 10 nails. If necessary I will add another layer of primer just before I apply the acrylic but it's not always necessary to do that. Now I'm coming in with NSI's Purely Pink Mask and I'm doing my infill. Majority of the nails are Purely Pink Mask from NSI in this set. The other one is clear and obviously the laser lights glitter. So yeah, I really love this pink. It's just like a really subtle, natural nude pink. It's, it's just literally perfect, basically. It is perfect, you know. So now I've finished applying the clear layer as my base for the infill, I'm coming in with the laser lights glitter and I'm just doing a full nail in this glitter, it's absolutely stunning guys, it is so hollow and so beautiful, it is just absolutely gorgeous, I freaking love it so much. 
And to apply the glitter, I just like to pick up a clear bead of acrylic on my brush and then that clear bead, I will dip into my raw glitter, picking up some of the glitter mix onto my brush and then I will spread it around the nail and make sure that it is flat as possible. You do get a little bit of time to work with where your glitter is placed because obviously the acrylic takes a little minute to set. So just work the glitter to where you want it and when you're happy with it, just leave it as it is and let it set nicely in place and it'll just look bomb.com lit AF and yes guys I have to say AF now because YouTube is like discriminating against foul language I mean I know it's not great using bad language but yeah um, I only literally say one bad word at the end and I don't use it in a bad context but yeah I'm gonna have to say AF okay because y'all Y'all know I gotta get my ad revenue um, because I need to get paid for the hours that I put in. Okay, so now I've finished doing 
the acrylic application I have gone ahead and I have filed encapsulated and shaped the nails and everything is pretty much finished it just needs top coat but I'm coming in with our unicorn film and this is the set that we have available on the website in the description box down below you get seven sheets and these are all the colors that are in there this is the one that my client chose today it's absolutely stunning so I basically go ahead and just cut a few little snippets off the end literally guys you get absolutely tons you get 20 centimeters of each sheet I think that's pretty freaking bomb considering the price that it is like seriously it is bomb okay so I've applied some gel and this is just clear builder gel I have applied it very very thinly to act as a glue for the unicorn film and I'm then gonna go ahead and just place that film into the nail into the gel exactly where I want it I've got time to move it around I've got time to take pieces off put pieces back in if I want to like mix it up a little bit you know and um, so I do that I can't remember on how many nails I do that on but I don't know if it's all of the nails or just two I can't remember and I haven't got the picture here but yeah I do that on some of the nails and it looks absolutely stunning so once I finish applying the unicorn film I'll go ahead and cure that in the lamp for 60 seconds or two minutes depending on what kind of product you are using and what lamp you're using as well um, but yeah then I'll come back in with my builder gel and I will encapsulate. Once I've encapsulated, I try to make this as smooth as possible because I don't want to have to go ahead and file the nail again. So make sure it's literally as smooth as possible, like finished, you know. Once I've encapsulated, I'll come in with top coat and this is me applying the top coat, making everything super glossy, super fancy, and just literally so beautiful. Now watch this glitter shine, baby. It is absolutely stunning. Like if anyone has laser lights, you know, you know the drill with that. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay guys, so this is literally me just finishing off the top coat and then I'll show you guys the final look. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you love the way it turned out and please always remember that you are bomb.com lit AF and don't ever let anyone tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Bye! Mwah. I'm always doing the most, finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back, let it swing.